Hi, it's Galita here. And today I want to talk about something really important that is about healthy boundaries. Uh, one time in one of my biggest crises, uh, my spirit guide was telling me every light worker needs a sword. And I was, I didn't know how to eat that because I thought, no, we have to be welcoming and loving. And actually what I was thinking is to be boundless, borderless is giving, uh, which is not true. So a few weeks ago, I, I was traveling to another country and I was sitting uh, next to the taxi driver. It was a very uh, fine immigrant guy who was uh, telling me interesting stories about how he see this uh, country I was in. And he was saying to me, your energy is so nice. You sit and I immediately feel with a good, good vibration. Thank you. Uh, he said, sometimes people come into my cab and I literally get sick afterwards. Uh, if I hear them talking or that they are attacking me. Um, and then we got into a very interesting conversation about uh, healthy boundaries. So then I told him what I have learned. Uh, and it took me many years to learn that. So this is what I would like you to know. It's very well and good to be giving and receiving. And of course, this is the balance we strive for. But people who are givers or empaths or um, very sensitive, uh, kind-hearted people, you, sometimes we don't notice that there are play happening with energy. If you're not aware about energy and if you're not conscious what's happening, there are two things that can happen. Sometimes you are fine with yourself, but then you will meet a person and they maybe without noticing, will dump their shift on you. Um, uh, literally, you can feel uh, sick afterwards or that you feel that you lost your mood or your appetite or something and you don't know where it comes from. And when you start to become aware that there is this mechanism that some people walk around with stuff and then when they feel an opening by somebody, they drop it all, all of them. Um, uh, when you become aware about that, then you can start to, to keep your field clean. And I have to say, I had a lot of feeling of guilt uh, with this, with this particular issue, because I had a subconscious belief, and of course, we, everything we do is about working with our beliefs, because we create our reality based on what we believe. So I had the belief that because I'm strong, and a lot of other things that I feel that I'm privileged, that I'm healthy or whatever, is that I should take the shit of other people uh, because that will help them. Not true. Took me years and months of being sick myself. Uh, and then I'm useless for nobody. And besides, for the person who's doing the dumping, it's not a good service. It's better service for them to become aware about what they do and what they feel and be able to learn to process themselves and then themselves, not in the need of looking a person or a situation to dump their shift in. Uh, but that makes people more conscious. So if people become aware, they become more conscious, they become more free, and that better help than to take their shift on yourself. Uh, so just ask yourself, are you doing that? Are you doing that with somebody that you let them dump stuff on you because you think, oh, they don't know better or they're really upset? And, uh, you know? Just notice, this is very important, um, healthy boundary point that you have to look at. The second thing that people unconsciously or consciously do with, with lovely people is that they come and they hang their energy on you. So people who are light beings, uh, younger per people, purer people, people who know how to uh, live in the light, uh, they will get sometimes uh, energy vampires. And again, we do it with no judgment. It's all, it's all about consciousness and being aware when people are hanging on your energy. Now with this point, I myself, probably like you, had also issues of feeling guilty, this person is needing, it's okay if they will live on me. That is not okay. On the highest level of being, I tell you, your higher self wants you to learn to clear your boundaries. You can be giving and caring 
and supporting people, but you cannot let that ruin your health, ruin your being, ruin your light. Uh, so this is also with consciousness. Uh, maybe the other person is not aware that they do that. And sometimes I see in people that they have cords from people that already died even, or people that they work with or live with. It is even better to be able to dismantle those cords in a healthy way and a peaceful and loving way so you can be full of your own light. Because then, in your own autonomy, you can hear your higher self better. You can be anchored better. You can express your truth better. You can share your heart better. We need you to be free and be in your own energy. So you have to become aware if there are somebody or some people living on your energy. Uh, so that's the second thing I would like you to look at. Um, I have to tell a story that uh, also a few weeks ago, I went into a party and I met a person that I didn't see for years, a person that in the past, telephone call from them or a conversation with them would make make me be out of balance uh for um for for weeks for weeks and in the last time i was visiting my family uh one of my aunts was saying in our side of the family which is my mother's side in my mother's side of the family we are um everything goes through us like other people's pain other people's problems, other people's energy is all going through us. And in the other side of the family, my father's family, she was pointing out, uh, they don't do that. They are much more calm. They are compassionate, but they don't get mingled. And it was so true because my whole adult life, I was trying to learn how to keep my essence uh, without losing it, without having it stolen, without having been damaged. And it was always going between the two parts of myself, the family line of my mother and the family line of my father, that had a very different approach to some things. I actually, as I say with everything what I do, is about the balance between our inner king and inner queen. And my father and mother family lines are really a king and queen, very different. Uh, and we all, as part of our consciousness and our part of growing and becoming a conscious, vibrating, uh, autonomous uh, light worker, um, star seed uh, person, um, we need to become aware about what is playing with us and how we need to construct this attitude or behavior or or things in our daily life. So. Um, when I saw that person, which usually in the past I would be completely out of myself for a really long time, um, it's because also I cared a lot for that person. Um, but you know, there are sometimes karmatic issues between people, and it really doesn't matter what is the story. The story is not about what the other person is doing, the, the story is about you noticing when you're triggered when something throw you off and it's not about them it's about oh i am triggered i am off why and you have all of the power to restore yourself without blame without a fight without argument without divorce without uh breaking up uh, rules in the game and all these things there is a way of being in, in, in peace and working with the energies, but it starts with being loyal to yourself first. Then we go back to that subject of self-love, and that's another aspect of self-love. Being saying, this is my energy, and you cannot dump your shift on my home, and you cannot plug your battery to me, this is an act of self-love. We need you to love yourself enough to, to respect your boundaries. So how should we start? So what, what I want to say when I saw this person at the party, I was kind of amazed. 
because for the first time I was going like, I feel, I don't feel whole. <laughs> I literally used these words to say, I'm not, I'm not penetrated. I'm not scarred. I'm not cut. That was wonderful. I felt in myself and I could share compassion and knowing that all of the issues that we had between us was something that I always had the power to solve within myself. That person made me learn how to love myself enough by not letting uh, unfair or dirty tricks happen. And I don't blame that person at all. I understand that their reality. And actually, I was doing a special prayer. And I thought, wow, wow. One time I said to my mother, when my mother was pushing my buttons, which, of course, the subject we'll talk about, mothers and daughters, in another video, because people ask me, uh, I remember that I, that I said to my partner, when the time will come and I can laugh from what she says about this, then I know that I uh, graduated. And then in the last visit I was uh, visiting my family, I, I had a wonderful time with my mother and it was some outrageous thing that she was doing or saying. And I giggled and I thought, how funny. And at the, moment, at the same moment I thought, oh my God, I actually can, can laugh. It doesn't trigger me, cut me make me uh, desperate or frustrated or hurt anymore. Wow. So the, so the steps will be like that. You have to become aware there's two mechanisms. People think, put things on you or they take things from you. And your duty to your growth, your duty to, to the world and to your family and to your life itself, but mostly for you and your own growth, is to notice that you deserve, like every light being, to have a sword, a sword that says no. And it doesn't have to be hurting the other person. So, okay, so a few days ago, I met a person who was talking to me about something similar. And I gave him one of the techniques to use to protect uh, his boundaries when people are shouting at him. He lives in a, in a place where he cannot really choose who he lives with. So... I said, and there is, there, is this, um, there is this technique of the rose. So when you talk to someone that is busy dumping or sucking and they are just confused in their energy, you take two roses, which are a symbol of love, one of the highest frequency flower, and you put them in a cross that says, this is my boundary but you give them the love they need. And actually, if you're also a little bit advanced, that I would suggest also ask their higher self to shower them with light and guidance to know how to come out of the situation they're in. But the, the roses will give the love and the thorns of a boundary. It's one of our loving boundary way there is another 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 wonderful exercise with um, boundaries it's also with roses and this is when you picture uh, your field that has a rose in every side of your body so you picture okay this is a little bit more visualization you know what let's do it right now um, if there is a person that is uh, kind of shaking your foundation by dumping on you or or taking from you energy. Let's just close your eyes because you know everything, shift in reality always happens in your inner world. So breathe, put yourself into center, whatever you're sitting or, or lying or whatever you are standing. If you can, don't drive or something like that. Just focus on this moment. And just come into your center, feel yourself, feel your body, feel the front of your body and the space in front of it. Feel the back of your body and the space behind you and in your left side, in your right side, in your upper and in your down. And now picture that there is a beautiful rose and you can choose the color because color are, are also kind of spirit guides. Ask one of the colors to bring itself to you. And it will be a red rose, white rose, yellow rose, 
growth, any, any, any color that is coming to you at this moment for this exercise. So we just close our eyes and then write the rose and the color, okay? Maybe you'll be surprised what kind of rose you see, which is fine. Now you place a rose in your front, very beautiful, luscious and wonderful rose. One in the back, one in your left, one in your right, one above, one below. Beautiful, shining rose. And now give an order in connection to your higher self. Let me do that for you. You just, you just stay in your own heart, your own truth. Our intention is cleansing and healthy boundaries that is beneficial for everyone involved. And just give permission for the roses to absorb any energies that are not yours and not serving your highest good. So we don't want to send that stuff back to the person because we don't want to continue the, the karma. What we want is that the energies that is harmful or negative or, or, or hurt or damaged to be getting into the rose. The rose will probably die if it's really full. It's okay. The moment it dies, you send it back to source and there will come another rose. And maybe the energy is very toxic, so the roses will be um, dying again. You just do that until the rose stays beautiful and fresh. And your energy field is cleansed. And now we say, all of the energy that belongs to me comes back to me cleaned and purified and full of unconditional love. And all the energy that belongs to that person goes back to them, clean, purified, and the highest vibration possible, good for all involved. And it is done, and it is done, and it is done. Take a breath and open your eyes. And that's it. And you can do that every day in your morning practice, evening practice, evening practice. That's very good to do. So actually, in, in the morning activation that I give for free, there is um, uh, activation with the golden egg, which is another way of keeping your feel. It's very good for the morning. Before you go and mingle with the rest of the crazy world, you have your, your golden egg. And in the evening, before you go to bed, you can invite your roses to come and purify your field. And you practice forgiveness for every person and practice self-love to yourself because you deserve to live in your beautiful energy, because you are a beautiful being of light, because we need you to be in your power and in your strength and in your joy and in your happiness, because you are valuable, because you are important, because you are enough, you are enough, and your enoughness is hugely bright and it comes best out into the world when it's centered with your true heart and your true body and your true spirit and your true mind. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. I hope you will come uh, practicing to see what's happening. And I'm very, very interested if you can leave me in the comment, which one do you feel the most you have a problem with people dumping things on you? or that they suck on you or you both. And if you have uh, an exercise or, or, or a trick of how you manage your healthy boundaries, please share that with me and with all of us so we can all learn because it's really important. More that the world go crazy, more important it is for us to anchor because when we are big and healthy and anchoring, we can help others from that place and of course the earth and the whole collective. So let me know what do you do and how do you uh, work with that. I would love to know. Thank you.